So it's a normal Sunday morning, I wake up and I go grab a nice cup of coffee, I sit down, I watch some YouTube, and then I hear a loud noise from outside my house. So I get up and investigate, and I open the door, and it turns out I finally got my package that I ordered like a month ago from Ringside Collectibles, and it's some WWE figures that I was waiting for. But I did not understand why they made that loud noise, I swear, these delivery guys don't care about your packages. But anyways, here we have our package. I bought a Randy Orton action figure, a Bray Wyatt one, and a John Morrison one, a classic one. And I'm really excited to open these because I haven't bought action figures in such a long time because, you know, I don't play with them anymore. But back then I used to buy them like a lot and I used to play with them like a lot. So I'm, I'm excited to open these again. And anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna open this package and I'll show you guys right now in a bit. I just wanna show you guys this. Look how sick it looks. like. Damn, Ringside Collector was really, it, it, it looks sick, look at that. Imagine you open a box and that's the first thing you see. That's amazing. Look at that, that looks sick. First off, we have John Morrison. I got him because I feel like I could use some really well in those action figure bidders, you know. Morrison is a high flyer and you know, I could really use those, those skills and those parkour flips. That he does in my stop motion videos, you know, but he looks cool, he looks sick. And then we got Bray Wyatt, the fiend. You already know why I got him, you know, he's the hottest thing right now in wrestling. And just look at that, look, look at the design, look at his mask, look at his lantern. Look, I could really use him for my videos, you know, just like The Undertaker. He could appear out of nowhere and attack someone, you know. And then we got Randy Orton, you know, the rival of the fiend who just set him on fire this. Sunday on TLC, The Fiend versus Randy Orton. I, I, I can do that. That's why I got him. Well, the, the main reason is because I had like a Randy Orton figure, but he was an elite and I broke his arm. I don't, I don't, I don't even remember how, but, but his arm fell off, so I had to get a new one. Because, you know, we have to have those RKO's and those action figure stop motion videos. And yeah, that's the reason I got him. I think I'm going to unpackage them right now, you know, and I'll show you guys like in detail how good these action figures really are. All right, I just opened the John Morrison one, but I, I realized I can show you guys while I'm unpackaging them because I was actually really surprised when I opened this. You know, I was surprised by how you can change the hands. You know, you couldn't do that back then. And it was really easy to put on the glasses, like Ringside Collectibles or whoever's making these action figures, they're, they're actually like really smart and they're improving a lot. Like I said, I haven't bought action figures in a long time. So like, this brings back memories. It brings back memories, but it also very, it's also very different. And I, I forgot how hard it was to get. I forgot how hard it was to get these superstars, out, <laughs> these action figures, out of the package. Cause you know, like look, the fingers are inside the plastic. Damn! Look how sick he looks. Why is he posing like that? It's really cool. I can, like, after he's done doing RKO, he can do this pose. And while he's actually fighting, I can change his hands. That, that's really cool. Again, yeah, I didn't realize I could do this, you know. Then I opened this John Morrison one. I should have recorded my reaction because this was really cool. And it was like the first figure I opened in a long time. So I should have recorded that. I messed up. But look at look at these little hands. It's really cool how they came up with this. And that way, if, if these hands break, I can just put in the new ones, you know. It's really smart. Oh, make sure I don't lose them. And then I'm, I'm gonna move on to the my last figure, which is the Fiend. Look at that, that looks... Let me get a good angle, that looks sick. Again, I'm gonna open it carefully without breaking it, because I'm also not gonna break the boxes, because I feel like I can collect them and I can use them as a good background for my action figure bidders. Because right now my background is pretty... My background's pretty boring, you know, just a wall, the paint, Got off that wall, it's a really, you know, old wall. My Christmas tree, which is temporarily for Christmas. And then I just put my tripod, my tripod there for no reason. 
So, these boxes could, you know, be a good background. Plus, we had Roman Reigns, Kofi. I should have gotten Drew McIntyre. I was going to get him, but it was, it was too much money. You know, I didn't want to spend too much money on action figures. Especially since I'm not making any money from YouTube right now. Maybe if I made money from YouTube, you know, showing off these action figures, I would have bought it. There we go. It was much easier to pull out the fiend. Damn, he has a big torso, a big upper body. The other ones, you know, like they can, you can move them a lot. This one is pretty big. It reminds me of Big E, you know. I got an action figure of Big E, and I can't really move it, so I was pretty disappointed. But this one, you can move it more. You know, the arms, they're pretty loose. The legs, oh, the stretch. Imagine, have you ever seen the fiend doing a split? Have you ever seen the fiend doing the splits? Well, now you have. I think your life is complete now. You've seen everything the fiend doing the splits. Damn, look at that lancer, I swear. It's badass. I like the detail, like look at the tattoos, the colorful tattoos. It's amazing. I buy I, I think I made a good choice in buying these action figures. Look at that mask. Let me put it at the right angle. Focus, damn, look at that. It's amazing. Look at the hair even. It looks like worms. Spaghetti. I don't know what it yeah, spaghetti. I think the noodles, yeah. You can see the mask. You can see its actual hair. This is just the wig, you know. I like the detail, it's pretty good. Would you look at that? Look how sick that looks. I know Randy Orton didn't come with the WWE Championship, but you know, he recently won it and he lost it, but he looks cool with it. But you know, these action figures look sick. My favorite, I think, is John Morrison. It's an old school Morrison, you know. I can do a lot of flips with him. Randy Orton, I can do a lot of RKOs from mid air. Bray Wyatt, I can do a lot of scary stuff in my videos. So, you know, you can see him from the back. Hopefully, I don't know if it's. I don't know if the camera is zoomed in, but you know, I think they look cool anyway. From the side, from the back, from the front, they look sick. And yeah, I've never done like action figure reviews before because I don't really, I haven't bought them in a long time, you know, like I said. So sorry if this bit was like a bit over the place. Uh, I haven't done this before. But I'm gonna have some really cool stop motion action figure videos coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. And I can give you a little preview of what I can do with these new action figures. So let me just do that real quick. And yeah guys, there we go. This was a Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, and John Morrison action figure review and unpackaging. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace out.